Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine and I would love it if you could subscribe and become part of our little family here. I do mostly makeup videos, some reviews, and some just really chatty get ready with me's. And today is one of those. I've used this palette quite a few times and I love it. Um, it's from one of my very favorite affordable brands, ColourPop. And this is the Smoke Show palette. It's really pretty dark, but it has lots of pops of silver. And I was just really feeling a nice, cool look today. Um, today in the United States is Thanksgiving Day. And this is how I'm going to get ready for our dinner today. Our dinner today is just my immediate family. We're not gathering a big crowd or anything, but it's going to be wonderful. I'm glad that my two daughters um, are well and we can be together today. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with a nice light gray. We're not going to go into um, the brushes or anything like that today. Um, I usually get out my Morphe set but I just don't feel like it today and all my brushes are clean so we're just going to use the ones that are handy here this is kind of a, a last minute decision to go ahead and film but I figured I'm getting ready I'm here by myself I might as well film it right so I've already primed my eyelids today I used the NYX um, base in white and we're gonna go ahead and get started so I think and oh I forgot to move my hair back it's gonna get on my last nerve if I don't I think the last time that I filmed I told you that I was super excited to be going to my daughter's sonogram appointment and I did get to do that um, this is a really pretty light gray we're just pretty much gonna put that all over I need to move the mirror a little closer did you see how fast with a nice fluffy brush that just blends right out um so yeah i got to go to the sonogram ap appointment and it was everything that i thought it would be um, my grandsons as per usual in the sonogram appointment were very stubborn though and would not look towards the sonogram wand so we got one kind of okay picture of ethan's profile but besides that there was just a lot of spines and legs and little butts. That's it. <laughs> we couldn't see much of anything else because they had rolled over and were facing mommy's spine. She does have two little boys in there. I am in love with them more than I can say. I, I just, oh, it's still so hard for me to believe that my baby is going to have babies, but she is going to be the best mom in the entire world. And I am definitely, definitely going to try to be the best grandma in the whole world. I'm going to switch to a little bit of a smaller brush and go with the next darkest gray. And just kind of keep defining that crease. We did get measurements on the boys. I got to hear their beautiful, strong heartbeats. I don't know if I said it in a video yet, but definitely have asked for prayers on Instagram because little Ethan has a congenital heart defect. What it means is that um, one of the walls between the chambers of his hearts did not grow like it was supposed to. Um, it's simply not there, which means that his oxygen-rich blood is mixing, I, this is the way I understand it, is mixing with the uh, blood that would be being filtered. And it just means that he's not getting right now. He is, his heart is working extra hard to be able to pump the blood through his whole body and that he will need surgery shortly after he's born. Um, they say it's a simple procedure. They've done it a million times, but it's still super scary to us. So I'm, I'm putting it in God's hands and I'm asking for prayer from everyone for baby Ethan. He has his next echo with the specialist on t Monday or Tuesday. It's definitely written on my calendar. I didn't forget. I just without my calendar ladies and gentlemen I need that calendar to keep me going and know where I'm supposed to be every day because without it I forget everything uh, he will have that and that will determine kind of the birth plan for my daughter if she should be born uh, if they should be birthed at a larger hospital um, the best place for that I think is about three hours away 
uh, but we've already told her that it, we don't care what it takes we're going to be there you know the the I believe it's the Ronald McDonald house has already graciously reached out to them so that they will have a place to stay so that one of them um, you know they can go back and forth to the hospital for however long they need to uh, we would like to be there we can't stay at the Ronald McDonald house though it is strictly for the families of the patient but we would like to be there in town as well so that if they needed someone to take care of Elijah if it goes on that long we're hoping it doesn't but if they would need someone to take care of Elijah then we could be there so that they could both be there for Ethan but you know cart before the horse we're talking and way in advance here and we're just gonna figure that all out when the time comes for now I'm still praying for a complete recovery and when that doctor goes in there to see his echocardiogram he's gonna be shocked to find out that it is healed and that Ethan is perfectly fine this is what I'm praying for God is huge so this is what we're gonna pray for and it's in God's hands uh, I'm, I'm absolutely positive that Ethan will be fine and that we'll have both the boys home before too long and be able to um, cuddle them and rock them and hug them. We will all be getting some uh, testing done before we're anywhere near the babies, obviously. I was tested for COVID a few weeks ago and have been quarantining ever since. Obviously, it came back negative, so I am fine. And we are so, so careful, but you never know. The boys are now at, tw I want to say she said 28 weeks. Oh, my face is so itchy right here today. I do not know why I'm trying hard not to touch it. Are two pounds four ounces and two pounds five ounces. And we were ecstatic to hear those numbers. Because two weeks ago they were only at, I want to say one pound 11 ounces each. So they are growing like little weeds in there. I got to see them moving their tiny little hands and they kept balling up their fists it was the cutest thing ever and of course ethan just kept arching his back and trying to get away from the from the sonogram tech i'm guessing uh, i'm not guessing his mother told me this is what he does every time they try to do a sonogram of him which is why we don't have very many good you know facial facing photos of them because they just are uncooperative and stubborn like the rest of our family. That in my opinion turned out beautifully. It's exactly what I was hoping for today. I went through, I'm going to take a little bit of the, there's a beautiful white, matte white in this palette. I'm going to take a little bit of that and put it up here against the brow bone just to make sure everything looks nice and blended. I looked through all of my palettes today trying to decide which palette I wanted for my look today because I just wanted something really dramatic and dark and sexy and I apologize for sounding like a frog. It does happen with the kind of autoimmune disorder that I have. Laryngitis is just something that comes and goes all the time. I know it sounds like I smoke three packs a day but I don't smoke at all and never have. I do sound hoarse and I lose my voice sometimes. I'm sure my family enjoys that. Finally get their mother to stop talking. Our tree is up if you haven't seen it. Go look at my Instagram please. It is linked in my bio. That is a beautiful color. Love it. It's called Smokin. And now I'm going to take something even lighter and more silvery for the inside of that eyelid. So, I hope, wow, look at that. I'm sorry, why am I not wearing this palette every single day? Holy cow. Can we, can we, can we turn on the lights a little bit more? So you can see, look at how shiny that is. Wow, love it. Not sure why I'm not using this palette more. I'm going to stick it in my everyday pile of palettes to use this month, because I think that is extraordinary. Way to go, ColourPop. Don't you hate it when you get a palette and you know you loved it to begin with, but then it just kind of gets shoved to the back somewhere and you're like, I forgot I even had it. Gorgeous. Okay. So, hmm. Let's take just a tiny bit more of that really bright white just to hit that brow bone a little bit harder. I'm wondering what this would look like 
as an inner corner highlight because it's just matte. I don't know if I've ever done that before. I think that turned out exactly what I was looking for. It is exactly what I was looking for. I wanted something really um, dramatic and sexy and you won't believe this because it's coming out of my mouth, but I, I'm gonna use some black eyeliner today. I wish I could do a really pretty wing for this, but you're gonna have to settle with the wing that I create, which is probably gonna be mediocre at best. And also, you might wanna fast forward through this because it takes me an hour and a half to do this and um, all you're gonna be looking at is the side of my head for most of it. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna try to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex liquid eyeliner and see how it goes. Again, I have to have my face up against the screen so this might be just a fast forwarded portion of our video. One hour later. Okay, welcome back after that very long hiatus of trying to do winged eyeliner. I apologize um, for you. It was only a few seconds because we will have just jumped over that annoying part. Um, I don't even know why I bother trying to do winged eyeliner. I'm no good at it and it is frustrating and difficult, but I did my best. Now, curl my lashes. Next, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Use it for the top and bottom lashes, even though you need to be very careful on the bottom lashes because this is a very, very big fluffy wand. Okay, so, oh, black eyeliner, right. My favorite uh, black gel eyeliner at the moment is Urban Decay's Perversion. It's their 24-7 Glide-On. This is how much I like it. Urban Decay liners just stay put, which I love everything else because I have very watery eyes just kind of um, works its way right off and then I'm left with nothing on the waterline. So for lips today I thought I would use for a lip liner the NYX Laundry Push Up and the shade is Embellishment. It's a nice nude color. I'm going to use that kind of as my base and my lip, uh, lip liner. It comes with a cool little uh, sharpener at the bottom of it that you can put on to get more of a pointy tip if you like. Let's see if this will work for me today. I usually don't have a problem. It's kind of messy but you can see that it gives you then a little more of a pointed tip if you need it. It has a very slight minty. It reminds me a lot of the Buxom um, plumping lip liners and then we're going to be using Max hot gossip today it's another it's a little more pink than nude but I like it and I like MAC lipsticks they're very creamy that one has a nice like pinky sheen to it so I enjoy that um, I have about a million glosses here that I could put on but I kind of like the sheen that's coming from just that lipstick so I think I'm gonna let it go final step I'm gonna put on some of the morphe continuous setting mist this came out a while ago. It has the rainbow um, label on it. I love the continuous setting mist. I don't care who makes it. I've liked a lot of them. Um, Morphe makes it in several different um, fragrances, I guess you could say. None of them are like too, too wild or anything. They're they're not obnoxious smells and I, I so far have liked pretty much all of them. Um, I saw that Tarte has their own continue. It's, it's, a, it's a setting mist that comes in and what looks like an aerosol can. So I'm giving that one a try next and I'll let you know if I enjoy that one. But I really like how light the mist is on this. Look at my hair all sticking up. Lordy. And that's it. That's our final look for our Thanksgiving dinner um, makeup. I love the way it turned out. I like this smoky, um, very cool look. I'm into it today. <laughs> I change my mind every day, which is the fun thing about makeup. That's a very inexpensive palette from ColourPop, and I really, really enjoy it. Um, they're having great sales for Black Friday, so check that out. I love you. I hope you're all having a wonderful holiday together. Um, please think of other people when you can. Be thoughtful and generous. Again, if you're able, I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.